Okay, I have a bad feeling about this video, and I suspect many people may disagree, but I'll do my best. So, Netflix has released these featurettes, as they call them, about the upcoming Witcher show. There are three of them, one for Ciri, one for Yennefer, and one for Geralt. I will address Ciri and Geralt's in another video, and I generally like those, but I do have an issue with Yennefer's featurette, and I want to tell you all about it. Let me start with the obvious disclaimers. The show isn't out yet, so things may not be exactly as I suspect, and I actually hope that's the case. But let me tell you what worries me currently. And also, this video will contain some book-related spoilers about Yennefer, so be warned. Alright, I've got two main issues. Number one is that they are presenting her backstory in a much less subtle way when compared to the books. It is far more graphic, far more dramatized, more tragic, and even a little exaggerated. And this may not sound like a bad thing, but I'll try and explain why it probably is. And issue number two is that they are showing said backstory before the major events of the books. So, before the stories of The Last Wish and The Sword of Destiny, where Yennefer is actually established as a character. At least that's how it seems from what they're showing us so far. And again, you might say, well, isn't it better to see the backstory beforehand? Well, I will argue against it in a moment. But first, where do we begin? I suppose in order to show you why Netflix is potentially doing it wrong, I have to explain why the books did it right. Now, a lot of people, both fans of the books and the games, and also characters within the actual world of The Witcher, have their disagreements with Yennefer with who she is, how she acts, how she treats people. You know, they say that she's a bitch, she's cold, she's full of herself, she lacks sympathy, she treats Geralt poorly and even cheats on him in an especially unpleasant manner. Even though he later sleeps with half the female cast, extensively with some of them. So all of these things are kind of true, to some extent at least, Ultimately, I would not say she's a terrible person, but she definitely does and says things that your average nice person would not. On top of that, she is extremely difficult to deal with and to be in a relationship with. In the early books, she is a little worse, for lack of a better word, but grows slightly milder as the books progress, especially as she interacts with Ciri. But ultimately, she doesn't change significantly. Speaking of Ciri, though, there is a rather curious side of Yennefer, which for some reason the featurette never mentions, and that is the fact that she really wants to be a mother. I personally find it curious because normally she doesn't seem the type to want to cuddle up with a baby by the fireplace and sing lullabies and so on. However, she deeply desires this, being a mother I mean, and it extends into her relationship with Ciri. Now, remember this because we'll get back to it a little bit later in the video. Anyway, that's basically how Yennefer is. And what I like very much about her character in the books is the fact that she's all of that in a very straightforward and unapologetic way. At no point are there any big reveals that suddenly account for why Yennefer is who she is and why she does what she does or anything of the sort. Instead, what we get are small clues and glimpses into her past that are never really the focal point, never stressed on too much, but at the same time fuel the imagination in interesting ways. In the end of The Last Wish, for example, there's the briefest realization that Yennefer was actually a hunchback. However, very little attention is paid to the fact specifically. It's mostly used to enhance the magic, if you will, between her and Geralt and the start of their relationship. It ties to the specific features of her that he was able to notice beforehand and helps us better understand that he sees her in a special way, I suppose. Anyway, the point is, we get a rather good and memorable moment which would not have been possible had we known about her past condition already. Then, much, much later, towards the end of the Tower of the Swallow, if memory serves me right, after most of her interactions with both Geralt and Ciri have already concluded, there is another glimpse into her past, this time about her childhood, which mostly goes to show the horrible way her parents treated her, especially her father. It is fairly brief, but I love it. And I love it because it manages to do a few subtle things at the same time. 
First off, it mentions her real name. It wasn't Jennifer, it was actually Janka. Perhaps written with a J in Polish? So it seems, well, it's hardly surprising, that she wanted to move on from this life. She changed her name to Jennifer. She was powerless back then and later became powerful. She was also a hunchback and later became inhumanly beautiful. She outlived her horrible father. And so she rose above everything, except it seems there was one thing she couldn't prove to herself. And that is whether or not she can be better than her parents. Whether she can treat a child better and be loved by it like she never loved her own father. And it seems that she is only ever made complete after meeting Siri and after their relationship develops. And I think that likely is the reason why from that point on she grows a little milder, as I mentioned in the beginning. And another interesting reveal during that very same small section is the fact that Yennefer has some elven blood in her ancestry. Well, not the elder blood, but still it's in a way another thing that links her to Ciri. Right, so ultimately I could be wrong about this, I could be interpreting it in a strange way or reading too much into it or whatever, but the point is that it was done in a clever and subtle manner and it enriched what we already knew rather than attempt to explain it or justify it. You know, the writer may be an obnoxious old man at times, and I do have some criticism about the Witcher saga, which I may get into after the show, but he clearly did quite a few things right in those books. What he didn't do, and what I think would have made the character of Yennefer worse and less interesting and less memorable, is to have a chapter right before The Last Wish, where we first meet Yennefer, telling us all about how poor and ugly and disfigured and unfortunate she was and how they bullied her and sold her out for five crowns Four. and she was insecure and wore a mask and got angry and broke mirrors and sexually exploited people and so on and so forth. And that seems to be the exact thing that the show is doing. In my opinion, it kind of ruins the magic. And let me be clear, my problem isn't that they're changing things from the books. Uh, for example, adding the disfigured face, which was never mentioned originally, it may as well have been in the mind of the author, I don't know. I simply have a very bad feeling about how they decided to go about presenting it. They had something good in the books, something well-planned and clever and thought-provoking and even somewhat unique, I suppose. You know, Yennefer's character is not one you see every day in fiction at least not in my case, and I fear that they're about to make it simpler and more mundane. If that is the case, I don't know why. Um, are they worried, afraid perhaps, that people will not like Yennefer if our first encounter with her is in the Last Wish chapter, as it is in the book? Um, and so they feel like the audience needs to be able to say, oh, here's why she's saying these things and doing these things. It's because of how badly she had it back in the day. You know, that we need her to have an obviously tragic past in order to understand her? I don't know. I want to finish this once again by admitting that I may end up being wrong. Perhaps the show will not do these things exactly the way I fear. We'll see. I'm just worried. And so, finally, tell me what you think of all of this. Hopefully I made some sense and, you know, didn't just speak nonsense for however many minutes. To those of you who are still watching, I thank you very much for doing so. Special thanks to my YouTube members and my supporters on Patreon. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good. In the end of The Last Wish, for example, there's the briefest realization that Yennefer was actually a flashback. <laughs>